Hi, how are you guys doing? I want to talk to you about medication and ADHD and what medication is appropriate and why one size doesn't fit all. You know, choosing the right ADHD medication isn't like simply picking a, um, a name out of a hat. And the last week or so, I've seen many patients for new assessments. And a lot of the patients <clears throat> have been on medications for ADHD and over many years. And yet, they still become frustrated. The child isn't thriving. The family don't feel confident about what's going on. And so why, if one of the most important treatments for ADHD is medication, why is that child not thriving? Why aren't the parents and the family kind of satisfied with the treatment? So that's what I want to talk to you about and how the treatment of ADHD involves medication, but it's that framing of it. It's how you use it, how one educates oneself and understanding and coming to an acceptance of what it works for and what it works not for and how the medication impacts the behavior of parents. So these are really, really, I think, great insights and understanding. Finding the right medicine is one thing, but that journey of getting there and then using it correctly is another thing. So number one, it's the doctor's experience. Often inexperienced doctors are afraid of the medicine, don't know how to combine it, use it, and look at medication in the right context, the right age. I had a comment from a teacher recently said, oh, you know, the child's on so much medication. Why is this, you know, and the other children in the class are not on those higher doses. Well, it goes to the point that there is no one dose. If a child's a high metabolizer of the medicine, they need more medication. The children that are so sensitive to the medicine, they need almost a whiff of it. It's almost like walking past a cake shop and smelling the cake and eating the cake. Some children need so little. So it's really understanding every child is unique. So they're like the, you know, you've got to think about, it's like the navigators of your journey, the doctor, using uh, the understanding and insights to guide you through the right choices. And remember, insights from teachers and feedback from parents are invaluable. What I do in my practice, I collect a lot of information and it's getting the right information. And I'm very surprised at how medications prescribed with very little feedback. It's got a feedback loop. I'm not telepathic. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I do is make sure I get the right information so we can base the right decision and make the right medication decision. And of course, you know, is there a family history of sensitivity? Sometimes in the same family, one type of medication's worked or it hasn't, I take that on board. And then of course, it's the family journey. You know, it's not just about the child. It's understanding ADHD, the consistency, administering the medication. And you know, if you as a parent are not on board and don't believe your child has the right diagnosis, you're going to be negative about the medicine. And your child's going to pick that up and it's not going to be that effective. And often, if a teacher doesn't believe that the right diagnosis and everything is dealt with, they're also going to have a negative attitude and impart that to the parents. So number one, you've got to stay informed and involved. Learn as much as you can about ADHD. It's treatments, understanding the basics can help you inform the decisions and communicate correctly to the healthcare providers. And keep those lines of communication open. Regularly talk to your child and their teacher and also talk to your doctor about the medicine. If it's not working, let them know and we can adjust things. And of course, observe the changes, keeping a diary of your child's behaviors, making sure any side effects from the medication are noted and, uh, you know, what seems to improve, when, how, what affects it. And then make sure you have the right attitude. You know, if you're against the medicine, Rather, put things on hold until you get the right information and you feel in your heart your child has the right diagnosis. And make sure consistency. Give it at the weekends. Give it in the holidays. 
that is such a misperception. Using two shorter acting medicines, longer acting medicines consistently. If you're having to nag at your child, talk to them completely all the time, nagging, complaining, that's going to have such a negative impact. That's why the medicine has such a big impact on the attitude of you as a parent. Because if you feel more regulated, your child's going to pick that up. So the consistency of the medication is vital. And then also educating your child. Tell them about the medicine. Tell them how important it is. And they're more likely to remind you, take it, and be far more motivated. And then look beyond medicine. Remember, medication for ADHD is only one part of the treatment. If we're not dealing with all those other behavior, other associated problems, learning difficulties, anxiety, mood problems, coordination problems, is your child exercising, eating, sleeping correctly? Do they have other behavior problems? Are there other factors in the home? Uh, a lot of parents have relationship difficulties with ADHD, marital problems. So all these things need to be taken into consideration. And when we get that perfect harmony and fit, it's magic. And then be patient. You know, it takes time to write, find the right medicine. Have the right um, kind of expectation. The medication is not like rocket fuel. It doesn't make your child spell better. But it really can be that amazing kind of glue that keeps everything together. And then seek the right help. You know, connect, talk in our Facebook groups share your kind of experiences because other parents also have the same concerns and then we've got to be you know celebrate uh, celebrate the progress you know make sure that you look back even today you know i spoke to one of my patients parents and we look back in the child's journey we've got a long way to go but my goodness what an amazing journey and improvement end of the first term report amazing results we look back this child was actually going to be repeated and retained in the grade last year. And yet now they're actually almost ahead of the curve. And the, the marks and the progress academically, which there you can see in black and white, has made a huge difference because this mom and parent consistently gives medicine as a positive reinforcement. Make sure teachers informed, had the right medication at the right time, no gaps, it's consistent, homework, sleeping, everything, discipline, making sure the child is not sitting inside on screens all day, it's outside with their friends, engaging, socializing, amazing difference. So, you know, navigating ADHD medication requires a team, patience, and if you're up for it, find the right person who can help you.